Hey guys, welcome back for another video. I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna open a couple of jars, or bags rather. I just wanted to show you a jar that I was thinking about opening because it's one of the small ones and it's, um, I don't know, probably about five inches tall. But I really wanna save these jars for my, for one of my auctions. And these are the silent auction probably. Yeah, this is seven inches tall. So I'm not sure, I may, I may save it or I may open it later, but this one looks really interesting. And if you guys are new to the channel, I hope you enjoy looking at jewelry. I hope you love thrift hauls. I hope that you like to go on ride alongs and see me find interesting things here and there. And uh, then on Sundays, we talk about selling all of the wonderful things that we find. I have a Sunday series at uh, 3 p.m. Central and it's called A-Listers. And on there, I show you all kinds of ways to effectively sell anything that you, mostly jewelry is what we talk about, but I sell other things besides jewelry. And I just give you my strategies, tips, techniques for effectively selling everything that I find or, you know, the things that I want to put up to the market. So I hope you enjoy that kind of a series. That is on Sundays at 3 p.m. Central. I will be taking a break this Sunday because... We have a wonderful Easter brunch planned, and my daughters and I will be attending that. So I will not hold it this Sunday, and um, but I'll be back the following Sunday, and I will be here Saturday for my Facebook auction. So those of you who are part of that group, please be sure and join me at 5.30 p.m. Central. And we have already had four. This is going to be, I believe, the fourth one, so it's going to be a lot of fun. If you're not a part of that, please just... Uh, go to my public Facebook page that's listed here in the description and like that page and then it should generate a invitation to join the private auction which is called Thelma Thrift Members Only Auction and Sale. Anyway, let's get started. I wanted to open a bag from Makeup Zombie and she holds a Sunday sale every Sunday. I think she may take a break for Easter as well. But every Sunday at 4 p.m. Central she holds a showcase sale. And this one was from her, one of her showcase sales, and I think it was a giveaway, if I'm not mistaken, either in a trivia or she usually gives away a bag at the beginning of the uh, the bag sale, which is usually towards the end. And uh, my friend Vanessa was kind enough to send it to me. She's the one that bought it or won it, and she asked uh, Miss Elizabeth to send it to me. So I'm super excited about that. And then I do have a thrift store bag here. This one was selling for $29.99. It's kind of loose, which is really different for what I find at the Goodwill. So if we get um, the internet going for us nicely and everything, we'll go through both of them. Okay. And um, so we can get started on that. I hope I don't tip over my camera. Let me know if it's a little, if it's okay and you can see everything f fairly well. I I think I have it tipped enough. I, like to, I can always make it move a little closer, I guess. So let me just say hello to a couple of people. It looks like 30 people are watching, 10 thumbs up. Be sure and hit that thumbs up when you walk in the door, guys. Thanks so much. Looks like Tammy's here. Jennifer Gattenby, I watched your video. It was great, Jennifer, do more. And I watched the other introduction one too. Thank you for the shout out. And I love the necklace you were wearing. Oh my gosh, that gold ringed style necklace. It was so cute and you are a hoot. I love listening to your, I mean, I, I even like reading your comments. They're always so humorous. <laughs> so please do more videos. You were great. And let me see who else is here. Doris Ann, Lisa Lemons. Miss Mary in May. That's so cute. I love that name. Vicki Moody, Nora A. as well. Cynthia Rushing, thanks guys for being here. I really do appreciate it. Sanja Smith as well. And Norma Robles as well is here. Okay, let's get started with Makeup Zombies. I'm so excited to see this one. And thank you to my friend Vanessa for, for forwarding that to me. She passed on it and wanted me to have it. And that was so kind of her, but that's typical Vanessa. She's fabulous, Vanessa Heron. All right, Heron. I'm not even sure how to pronounce her name. You're gonna have to tell me, Vanessa, over the phone or something so I can hear you. <laughs> Here's a really cute bangle. It's blue, teal blue enamel. Very nice, I like it. So it's very nice condition too. 
It even looks, no, it's got a little, I thought it had a little maker mark, but it's got just some little blisters and things there. But that is really cute. Oh, look at this giant loop my husband brought home. He said it was from a telescope. I don't know where he found it. But it is amazing. And please don't let me, <laughs> please don't let me use it like I did the other day in my video. You can see my mouth about the size of a giant bass or something. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Jude. Hey, Vanessa. I'm opening the bag from Zombie that you passed on to me. That was so sweet of you. This is cute. This is really cute. I think it's supposed to look kind of uh, vintage, so I guess it would be retro then. But isn't that cute? I like that. All plastic. Little extender. Really cute. Actually, it looks like it may have popped right here. May have to hook that back on, but that's okay. No big deal. Hey, Kathy Valentine, how are you? Guys, again, I want to welcome you to the channel. We are going to do two bags today. We're going to do one from, that comes from Makeup Zombies Showcase Sale on, ooh, look at this, on Sundays. And Vanessa won it or bought it. I forgot, Vanessa. Try to remind me there. I know, my lips were like huge, so don't let me do that with this thing. <laughs> look at this, how cute, guys. It's, a, it's a expandable. It's my new word. I don't like stretchy anymore. And it's like a little prayer bottle or something. How cool is that? That is a cute little charm. Okay, that was it. And you bought another one too. So you're going to have to do a, a video pretty soon. So you can practice before you're, you have your pop-up sale, Vanessa. That'll be fun. I was just telling everyone, I'm not going to do this Sunday series. Uh, this Sunday for Easter, I'm going to a brunch with my daughters. It's a fabulous brunch, too. And believe me, we're going to stay there all day. It's at one of our local hotels, and it is so good. So, I'll see y'all next Sunday. Oh, this is cute. I love the chain on this. It's a little charm necklace. And it's got the watch and everything. Wow, it's an Anne Klein. That's super. And I think it says, does it say love? It's got a lock, a star, a heart, lots of good luck charms there, a key, a padlock too. That is so cute. No, it doesn't have any letters. Or does it? No, that's the key. I thought it was a letter F. Oh my gosh, I love that. And if you could feel how nice that chain feels. Those links are nice, impeccable. Wow, nice. Yeah, her little bags are always good. They really are. Very nice. I went to my honey hole today. Got some good stuff from her today. And she told me, that, oh, this is cute. This is a really well-made ring, guys. It's like a heavy acrylic. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I thought it would be a stretch. It still has a little tag on it. That is cute. So anyway, she told me about the garage sale her friend is having tomorrow. And she called her to see if she had jewelry <laughs> while I was there. She said she had a little bit of jewelry, not a whole bunch. She has a lot of furniture. So I'm going to go check it out anyway. I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be fun. Okay, here's a little beaded bracelet. This is cute. You have this nail polish too? <laughs> I don't know what color this is. Um, I think it's Chanel, actually, but I don't remember the name. Chanel, some of the formulas, the older formulas, they really chip easily, though. Not that crazy about them. Oh, look, another cute bracelet with charms. Oh, my gosh. This looks like a Betsy Johnson. I think it says Betsy on there. Right? Does it say Betsy Johnson? Yeah. Yes, that's a Betsy Johnson. That is super cute in black. I'm, I'm really liking the black beads now. It's got a whistle, and the, even the whistle is embellished. With a heart. It's got a little metalware, but cute nonetheless. Another heart with BJ on it. And then another little... These little hearts are actually lockets. This one's a locket. And this one is too. No, this one is not. 
No, but the other one is. And it's got some lips that are a little faded, but I still like it. I really like the beaded on there. The beads on there, I think it makes it look cute. Really cute. Okay. Sorry about that noise. My, my table's making noise underneath there as I put my feet on it. That's cute. Little pink shells. Cute bracelets. Oh, some heavy beads. I think they're hematite. They're really heavy and they're graduated and they're very nice. This is all from Makeup Zombies jewelry bag that Vanessa sent to me. She's so sweet. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. These are nicely made. Very nice. Oh my goodness, Vanessa. Look, it's pink. Pink and, and plastic acrylic style uh, crystal-like acrylic and then even some chains. That's cute. That is really cute. I love that frosty pink color. Pink, pink, pink. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Gulf Winds, thanks for being here. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. I'm so glad you're happy with it. We're going to have some wonderful things at the auction Saturday at 5.30 p.m., including the... Did I show you the Art Nouveau style pen that I got from the honey hole from the old from the lady, Miss Barbara? That's gonna be there. I think it's so pretty. It's a nice one. I think it looked great on a collar. I just or did I show you that last time? I don't remember now. Yeah, she sold me that the other day. Today I bought the cute stuff. <laughs> so a few pieces of jewelry, like three pieces of jewelry. But just a lot of other cute stuff. This is a nice expandable one too with the black silver tone. Cute. Oh my goodness, this is darling. It's a clamper, it's so pretty. Look at that, I'm so happy it's a clamper. That's a nice rich enamel on there. Gracias, Nitsa. Verdad que esta linda? This is really cute. I love that blue. Yeah, that's a nice one. Another cute ring. Oh my gosh. The ring. Oh, I forgot to show you the ring I bought from Makeup Zombie. I am floored from, I always call her Makeup Zombie, from Liz. It is, I believe, bronze. It's super heavy. It's got a tiger eye. It fits me perfect. I don't remember what I paid for it. It was just last Sunday, but I forget because I bought a few things. But look at that sculptural design, and it is so heavy, and I'm glad that it fits. Otherwise, it'd be moving around. Look at that. And the color's so rich. I mean, I don't know. I, I wore it with, um, what did I have on today? Okay, I think I had all these three metals on together, but then I moved one of them. So I had copper, silver, bronze, and then silver on the end. <laughs> and then when I wore it over here, where I have some 14 karat gold with the little pearl, I thought it blended really nicely too. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love this ring. Oh my gosh, when I saw it, I was like, I love bronze, first of all. I really do. And then it looked, you know, there's a real resurgence, revival. I don't know what you want to call it, but they're buying the Scandinavian or the Finland. I don't know where they're from, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm being ignorant here because I don't recall. But I have found a lot of modernist Thing, jewelry made out of bronze that sells really well on eBay. And so when I saw that, I was like, whoa, that's nice. Got to have that one. Look at this. What are you seeing in the ring? It's so pretty. It's almost like a flower. It's a tiger eye. Look at this one. Isn't this one cute? I thought it was like a bee there on the flower. It's all wired up. You see a twisted Buddha? You know what? It could be. so. It almost looks like two people, too. Or maybe a family. That's the thing about art. You can see what you want. But I And I don't even like Tiger's Eye that much, guys, to tell you the truth. I've never been attracted to it that much. I have a ring that I also offered in my 
auction last time and I'll probably offer it this time because as pretty as it is, I just, tiger eye just doesn't really do it for me, you know? But it is a beautiful tiger eye, but this one, this, the design is what like, wow. I just love it. I just love it. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, a cute little peacock bracelet. Clamper as well. That's pretty. That is really pretty. Oh my gosh, these these stones at the top, guys, they're prong set. Did y'all see that? And Liz, I don't know if you guys saw her video this afternoon. I don't know when it came out, but I think it came out sometime this afternoon. She found some really cute jewelry again in a jar she picked up at the Goodwill. She had a little ride along the other day. And she picked out, or she showed today another, oh my God, my bracelets are tangled up now. Another peacock. I think it was a, I don't know if it was a brooch, but it was super cute too. So this one's pretty. I like the subtle colors of it. You know, it's not like your typical peacock colors. This is a cute ring, guys. See how it was wired up? And it looks like buttons or something. That's a beautiful little piece somebody put together. I think it's cute. We do have some broken beads in here, so I don't know what happened there. <gasps> Another cute ring. This one's enamel. Look at that pretty burgundy. Ro uh, is that a carnation? I don't know. But that's a pretty flower, too. Can you guys see okay? I'm not sure sometimes with this camera. If you guys can see better than I can. Plus, I have a crack on my phone. It's not, not helping. Oh, a little locket. Look at that. Looks like gold filled or something, and it's tangled. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a cute pewter bracelet, too. Feels like pewter. It's got like a, I would say like an Egyptian design around it. See? Almost looks like little hieroglyphics or something. What do y'all think? That's cool. That is really cool. I'm going to have to put it on the other side. I'm going to take off some of my bracelets so we can take a look at them. Here it is. It's big, but it's pretty and very hefty. Ow. Oh, that is super heavy. Let me see who else popped in the chat. Looks like 60 people are watching. Guys, thanks so much. Whoops. Be sure and hit the thumbs up when you walk in the door before you leave. Sandra Hurt is here as well. Yeah, peacocks are getting really popular, aren't they? Everybody seems to like them. Okay, let me untangle the cute locket. And then there's a really pretty sterling piece. Oh my gosh. There's a little sterling necklace in here, a bracelet. See the little beaded one? That's definitely sterling. Oh, wow. And then here's this little gold one that I, it seems very delicate, so I don't want to rush it, guys. You guys talk amongst yourself for a minute while I untangle this. Okay, and then there's like a hook ring here, too. I'll let y'all look at that. Guess what's in there? <laughs> Michaela, thank you for being here. Wow, this hook is going to mess up my nail pot. This is just like a little, I'll just try to take it off of there. It's just like a little key ring that's tangled up with this sterling bracelet. And then with, oh, I almost bought this beautiful owl. I should have bought it anyway from that lady today. It was one of those intaglio cameos and it was an owl, but it's like the glass ones. And it had a tiny chip at the bottom and you guys know how I feel about chips. I'll probably get it next time. I'll probably go by there tomorrow after the garage sale. Oh, I'm off tomorrow. I'm so excited. Long weekend. So that's why I wanna to go to that lady's garage sale. Look, this is such a cute little delicate bracelet and it's sterling silver. There's the little hallmark right there. It's a pretty hallmark, too. It looks like a little clover or something. You guys see that on my nail? 
That's cute. Yeah, let me make sure that I'm reading it right. Nine, two, five on this side. I don't know if you can see that. That's cute. I think I have a necklace, something like this, that I got from Sandy. That's a little bit more lightweight, but it's pretty much the same style. Okay. And then this little necklace over here. I'm going to try to read, too. It's got some cute earrings tangled up with it. Look at these. Those are pretty. And we still got the key ring tangled up with this gold locket. That looks like it could be gold filled. Yeah, it's got a lot. It's got a lot of written, a lot of letters on the on the bail of the locket. Let me look at the jump ring. I think it's a gold filled one. It's super cute. It almost looks like Black Hills gold. I cannot find my loop, guys. But I'll let you read it so y'all can see. I think it's right at the top of the bail there. I don't know. It really looks like Black Hills Gold to me. And Black Hills Gold is usually 12 karat, if I'm not mistaken. Do you guys ever run into Black Hills Gold? A lot of littering on there. I wouldn't doubt it if it's Black Hills. I'll check it a little bit closer when I find my other loop. Because I really can't see it, even with this big giant thing. I thought I could. It's so tiny. Black Hills will usually say, it'll usually have uh, some initials for Black Hills gold. And it's usually 12, 12 karat gold. No, it says GF. It says GF on it, 14 karat gold filled. Yeah, it's gold filled. It's pretty though, really pretty. That's what I'm reading. But Black Hills gold will usually, you know, have the initials for Black Hills on it. And sometimes it'll be just written really plain Black Hills gold. Oh, look, here's another one. This one's copper. Another fly. This was a lot of floral rings in here. GF for gold filled, yeah. But the Black Hills Gold is not gold-filled, usually. Maybe some of it is. But um, I know the traditional one used to be 12 karat gold. I had a few earrings from them, and they were pretty. But they're usually not 14. Okay, here's a little necklace, kind of like a dot and dash chain, with a, looks like a little window pane or something. Some ornate scroll work there on that kind of a pewter color see that it's kind of a pewter color there yes gold filled supposed to have more gold look at this this is cute it's another expandable it's got those really small plate little like sequence plates or something that's cute it's like it had the tag there at one time. And then it's even got some rondelles there. Very close, guys. Sorry. That's pretty. Okay, another silver tone clamper. I wonder if that would polish up a little bit. And then this is some shell expandable as well bracelet okay and then this one something broke off of it we have to replace that with something it, but look it actually is articulated that would be pretty with a little stone in there oh here it is <laughs> it just fell off in the bag just glue that back on there little pink tiger eye faux tiger eye i guess and Aw, this looks like a Betsy Johnson, too, or a wannabe. No, it is a Betsy Johnson. How cute. It's got her little logo there on the heart. 
And this actually does feel like an authentic Betsy Johnson, though they said they have run into lower quality Betsy Johnson items lately. But this one feels nice and substantial. And it's actually got some leather, or no, some satin running through one of those chains. There's the heart. There's the owl with their little googly eyes. That's cute. Really cute. And a bow as well. Is one of the eyes smashed? One of the eyes is smashed. You know what I'm going to do? Pop them out and replace them with rhinestones. Well, I'm not going to do it. My husband's going to do it. He's getting quite good at repairing jewelry. There's a little stretch black and white. That's cute. Guys, thanks so much for hitting that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoy looking at this kind of thing and um, learning about jewelry and reselling and all that stuff, be sure and subscribe today and hit the bell and you will be notified when I do new videos, when I upload them or when I'm live like I am right now and we can talk in the chat. Oh, this is cute. Another pink one, Vanessa, look at that. That's pretty and this is chain, so it's not, once it gets entangled, it's not so much of a problem as the real fishing wire ones, that's cute. Okay, it looks like this, came apart what a shame it's like a leather cording with some blue gold two shades of blue and some gold beads on there so we'll put that in a in a um, bead lot okay that's really cute I like that necklace this is cool this is one of these coil chokers that's pretty let's see what the other side does oh there it goes rhinestones rhinestone dingles very cool very cool especially for layering uh, i probably wasn't right after i wrote that i noticed rhinestones are modernist he wouldn't have done that i don't know i'll have to go back and read some of these chats guys because I think you guys start a conversation with yourselves there, and that's great. So I'm not sure if everybody's talking to me. But I really want to thank you for being here. Appreciate that. All right, let's keep going so we can start on the other bag. Because I'm curious about that other bag. Okay, here's another expandable, really cute, in brown. And we have two of these. So they match very nicely. They are matching, identical actually. And look, here's like a little um, Pandora wannabe. It's really pretty. Look at those pretty glass beads. And look, it's even got the kind, I think these hold it in place. So this is cute. <laughs> are you in Sweden? Well, thank you for being here. Oh yes, I've been watching your videos too. I love the video about the Marcusite, and you said, did you make a correction? Because it seemed like you came back and it was a little shorter. But anyway, that is the most beautiful Maltese cross I've ever seen. I love it. Please keep making videos. They're so interesting, and your accent is delightful. And I've definitely enjoyed it, Walta. And your collection, wow, amazing. Look at this cute thing, guys. She put in some really cute rings in here. They're so different. This is, uh, I believe, like crushed shell, like little crushed shell. And it's actually, looks like either uh, probably brass. Yeah, I think this is some kind of shell and coral crushed up. And it is super cute. Look how cute it looks with my pearl there. I like it. And it's adjustable. Yes. That's real shell or something. Cute. Coral or shell. All right, a sun. That's pretty. My daughter will probably take that. I was taking out some brooches to bring to the auction. One of them, I was trying to do a celestial theme, and she grabbed the sun. She's like, you didn't tell me you had a sun. It's like, yeah, oh gosh, I can't bring out anything because she wants it all. This is so pretty. This has a, a vintage-looking vibe to it, guys. It's got that barrel clasp that you rarely see in today's jewelry so it looks pretty cool and this actually looks like a pewter metal 
Hi, Autumn. I'm glad you're here. How are you? Are you going to have your auction tonight? Oh, this is cute too, guys. This one says Vince Camuto. Wow, that's a designer. Uh, out of, I think, Macy's and Dillard's. This is heavy. It's got like a big old spike. And this is leather. Okay, let me put it on. It's a nice fit too. Like a big spike or something at the top. And it's leather, silver tone. It's Vince Camuto. Yeah. I love his handbags and shoes. I go to that, um, I think it's like a 75% off sale that Dillard's does about two, twice a year. I don't miss it. This is some kind of ceramic. It's cute. It's got some matrix or veining on there. Yes, I love it. But now they do like you have to return it. If it doesn't fit, you have to return it within five days or something. I hate when they do that. Especially when you don't read the policy. <laughs> This is cute little pearl collar. This is made pretty delicately, too. Sometimes they're made really elaborate. They look like little Peter Pan collars. This is nice. Really nice. Starting to appreciate pearls more and more every day. I know Vanessa loves them. Oh, this is cute. This says Lucky. One of them says Lucky, and the other one has an elephant. And the other one has a little heart. No, a little scroll and a rhinestone, a little scroll design. The elephant's like a rose gold, and the, the elephant says something in the back. Let's see what it says. Cache? No. Lacy or Lago? No, it doesn't say Lagos. I don't know. It says some kind of initials there, L-A-G-O or L-A-C-I or something. But it's like a rose gold color, and they look really cute together. The silvery one, so we have rose gold, yellow gold, and like a like a textured silver tone. This is the James Avery that I'm looking for in gold, guys. I have four of them in sterling, and this is my gold one. And they're like outrageously priced on eBay, and they're rarely they're rarely sold, but when they are, they're about, oh my gosh, probably in this $700 range. Ridiculous. But I'm still looking for it. I may buy it. I may sell my... I may sell three of my silver ones to buy me another gold because I really want another gold one. All right, let's move on to my little bag right here from the Goodwill. And that one was $29.99. So I got it for about $20 with my discount. I will be putting up another virgin jewelry, virgin jewelry jar, and that's a coined phrase that I coined, and it means uncurated, unsorted, straight from the Goodwill jar or bag on my private auction site. So be looking for that. It'll probably run, it will probably run a week this time. I think I ran it four or five days last time, but I think I'll run it probably from, I'm thinking Saturday to Saturday or something like that. So look for that. Okay, here we go. We're going to dump it out. Let's hope for something good. Wow, this is a big one, guys. We're going to be here all night. But we can't be because my husband's bringing me something to eat. So let's finish up. Pulsar. Yeah, this is a pulsar. Nice face on it, too. I love the white-faced watches. They're my favorite. Uh, let me see. Got some shells. Always get the shells, don't we? Those go in my hippie lot. We got some dyed Howlite expandable bracelet. I think we had the matching necklace last time in the other jar, didn't we? It's pretty though. It's just You can almost feel that it's dyed Howlite. Don't you think it feels a little bit chalky compared to real turquoise? I don't know, there's just something about it that you can even, or maybe it's all that dye they put on it. Look, this one you can even see the white, Let's see? They usually tell you, look inside where the hole was drilled for the beads, and some of these have cracked. And I think Howlite is even, if I'm not mistaken, I think someone said Howlite is even softer than turquoise, so it cracks pretty easily. This is a cute bracelet, guys. This is acrylic with dried flowers in it. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Little rosebuds are inside of that. And it's in a, what, like an octog octagonal shape? <laughs> Am I saying that right? Oh my gosh, it's cute and it's not too big. 
That is such a cute bracelet for spring, for any time, but especially now with the Easter week here, with Holy Week here and all. I love it. That is so pretty. I'm going to have to plan an outfit around this bangle. What shall I do to wear this? But I will. At least once. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> that is so cute. Wow, those are bugle beads, embroidered hearts, $63, supposedly, and I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Alley beads. This, these look like they were artisan-made, definitely. Yeah, she probably had her own little shop somewhere. Wow. Or AllieBeads.com. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it was a bag of of uh, beads they were selling those are cute these are like so cindy lopper 1984 or something they are darling oh my gosh and they're just look and that's leather that's embroidered on leather a leather backing with some embroidered hearts they almost remind me of something um religious like a religious icon or something wow those are cool super cool okay what else is in this cute bag? Hey, Catherine, how are you? Hi, Carla. Thanks for being here. Rings, personalized rings. Oh, fabulous. Jennifer. <laughs> in a package. I don't know any little girls named Jennifer, but if I did, that would make a great little gift. Okay. And then we have a plastic rosary. Oh, is it buffering? No. Is everyone else getting a buffering? Thank you for letting me know, Vanessa. Plastic rosary there. Huge, cool flag earrings. Look at that. I hope we have the other one because that's going in my collection. Those are cool. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, here's those beautiful Pakistani inspired Bollywood inspired bangles that have those beautiful pull pin clasp. I have quite a collection of these and I think I did list some on uh, po I'm not going to close it right now. I listed some on Posh. I haven't sold yet. But the ones I listed were missing a couple of rhinestones. These are so rich. Look at that. Yeah. I don't think this is missing anything. It's got pearls. This one's super nice too, guys, because you actually have to screw that in a little bit. It's not just a pull. You actually have to screw it back in. That's nice. So it's got that rich 22 karat gold color. Pearls and ruby cabochons, emerald cabochons. <laughs> All is from the faux family, of course, but just as lovely. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? This is genuine leather, and it was $70. And I believe it. Western Cross. It's, it's genuine leather. It's a metal. It's kind of cool. And it just snaps on there. A little leather cuff with some faux turquoise going on. Some really nice work on the leather, too. You can see it in the back. It's got some really nice tooling on it. I'm sure it's... Really cool, kind of bronze colored studs as well. Yeah, that's nice. And I, I believe it was selling for that price. Probably at some specialty store. And here is an Amazing Grace leather cuff. This one is not real leather and it's coming apart. But that is a nice uh, piece to add to a crafter lot for sure. Let me do that now. I have my crafter lots. Oh, this one's cute. This one I would wear. This is so Frida Kahlo. Oh my gosh, this one's cute. This is real leather too. Yeah, that one's cool. Slip that on. It is a little stiff. I bet it gets even prettier after it's worn a few times. Look at that. I love that. Yep, I would wear that to San Antonio's Fiesta Week in April. 
I think they had it last month though. That's, that's a lot of fun. That's cute. Oh, we did find the other one. Remember we came up with this one in that other jar the other day and we didn't have, hi Elizabeth, how are you? I just did your bag that you uh, sold to Vanessa and Vanessa sent to me and it was fabulous. Just finished that one. We're now working on a Goodwill one. Uh, see, now it's in here. They got married. We pulled it out from another jar and now they are together again. Fabulous. All right. Okay. This is a cute necklace. It's got lockets. It's got tangles. But it's got some really cute charms, including a locket, some scroll knotting there or something. Some hair as well stuck in the locket. There's a tangle here, but we still... Hi, Norma. How are you? Norma, let me know about what we talked about in the email. Uh, you can email me later. See what you think. I'm glad you're here. All right, let me look and see what the mark is on this one. This one's cute. Oh, it's Premier. This is not something I would expect to see from Premier. It's so boho. It's very cool. And Premier is so common in the jewelry jars, guys. But they had some really nice jewelry and they also had sterling so i always double check things from them because you can run into their sterling they were few and far between there weren't that many in sterling but they did have a little section of sterling i remember going to their parties and getting the catalog and all of that so it's pretty cool okay this could be i guess doubled up or long still having a little bit of a tangle there but that's cute. Not bad at all. I like that. And then another leather bracelet with more beautiful studs. And something just rolled off of here. Gosh, I got to find it later. It might have been a ring, guys. Sorry, but it like went down the abyss of my leg down there. And I have like four or five. Uh, this is cool. Four or five boxes with watches and all kinds of stuff. Bangles. It's where I sort things. I love this cuff. This one is cool. This one's cool too. These are This is some nice studding on here. And look how it's done nicely. Because when they do them cheaply, you actually can see all the staples. Or the little, um, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. And I know they do that like when they do belts. The cheap ones. Oh my gosh, they hurt. This one's done very nicely with this little studding. Really cool. Your abyss is bigger. <laughs> I know. See, I gave y'all a tour of my room, but you didn't look under the table. I wanted to show you under the table. I have a box of watches, a huge box of watches, a box of bangles. Uh, this one's a little dusty, guys. I can feel it that it's got something on it, and it is so pretty. I'm going to wash it up. I have a whole pile of jewelry ready for a bath again. I have a big, tre well, you saw that treasure chest that I did in my video, uh, the bobble bath. This is a big T. I forgot what mark that is. And now it's full again, ready for another. Look, you can actually see that stuff on it. This is going to look beautiful when I wash it up. I know it is. It is so pretty. And it's got like a moon glow to it, like a moonstone glow to it almost. Oh, man, I like that. I'm going to wash that for sure. Okay, we have a pretty expandable here with some, speaking of moonstone, kind of a moonstone look to that as well. It was plastic. The plum one was plastic. Yeah. Here's a really pretty watch, and this is a fossil. Nice brand. Oh, is it running? Nice. Bingo. This is only like the second one this year that has been running. And I have another one that's beautiful in an aqua color. It's not a fossil. I forgot what brand it was, but it's running too. I may offer those up on Posh as well since they're running. Fossil's a good watch. I have some that I've had for many years, and they're still ticking. Ooh, this is cute. This is some kind of 
natural shell. This looks like pieces of abalone shell, and then I don't know what this gray quartz is. And then tiger eye in between, too. And a little brass toggle. That's pretty. I like the way they put the toggle, the tiger eye in between as spacers there. That's super cute. Abalone, yeah, abalone, and then tiger eye here. And then this is some kind of, I think it's abalone shell, but they put like a gold glaze on it or something. I don't believe it's natural. But it is so pretty. They did a good job on this. I think this is pretty. And there's that tiger eye. I was showing the ring that I got from you too, Elizabeth, and I love it. And everybody was saying it had like a sculptural design. Somebody was saying, what? A Buddha? <laughs> I don't really see anything. I just see its beauty. I think it's gorgeous. And I got that at her Sunday sale, guys. It's here on YouTube every Sunday at 4 p.m. Central. Oh, these are cute beads. Kind of a hippie style, but those are the ones in between are so cute. Kind of floral-like. Fabulous. And here's another watch. This is a man's watch, I think. I can't tell what it says. It's a little worn. Very nice bracelet on it, that though. Too bad it's a little worn out. Okay, here's a cute one. This almost looks like sterling as well. Let me read what it says. It's got little beads. And it's like a cobra chain. No, I think it was gold tone, and now it's really faded. But really pretty. I like these. These are nice little stones on here. You guys see that? Really nice. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't tested the mushroom. You know what? I'm so glad you reminded me because I almost gave it to my daughter. I should have showed that. I'll show it. I'll show it later because we've already done. This is the second bag, but I'll do another video um, tomorrow and I'll show what I got from Elizabeth and um, Sandy and some other auctions that I've frequented a couple of weeks ago. Here's another expandable kids. Here's a Fitbit like thing. And it is off, so I don't know what it is. Here's some cute earrings. They look like they might be sterling. They're matched up, too. Let's take a look. Oh, my gosh. You Did you guys see that mushroom at Elizabeth's showcase? It was so cute. It is just so cute. I just expect to see a, a little gnome right next to it. Okay. I don't know. I don't see anything off the bat on these earrings, but they look like sterling to me. Might have to take a closer look at them. Let me get the magnet and the little thing just real quick. See how they scratch up. Oh my gosh, these magnets are so strong. They're sticking to each other. Okay, they're not sticking. Sometimes when you scratch them, guys, immediately upon the scratch, you can tell. Yeah, this has a nice scratch. This has a very nice scratch. I guarantee they're sterling. I'm going to double check them. They're cute. They got little uh, diamond cuts on them. See how it's got a nice chalky scratch? You don't even have to put acid on those. Sometimes you can just tell right off the bat that it's sterling by that scratch. Okay, here's some plastic stuff. Here is more plastic stuff. <laughs> it's cute. It's like a little guitar pick with a microphone. <gasps> I like that. I have to give that to my granddaughter. She may enjoy that. More shells. Requisite shells in every one. Cute expandable. These are glass and crystals. Pink. Pretty. I like that. Here's a ring with a cross. Let's hope it's James Avery. Guys, I saw one the other day. I almost put it away. Or put it in, in a in a grab bag, and then I realized it was James Avery, and it was a little butterfly. So I like to look at these clothes, because sometimes, yep, check it out. <laughs> Bingo. I love it. There it is, James Avery. What a way to close the night. Can you guys see the candelabra in there? There it is. 
And let me show you the tiny one that I almost put in a grab bag that I, I'm going to probably show at the auction soon. It's just as, and I saw it today in gold. They had it in, because I was searching for gold in, on eBay, and it looks so cute in gold, too. That one. That came out of a jewelry jar the other day, and it's also got the, the candelabra there. James Avery. I think I have it upside down. So, see, sometimes they're really simple bands like this, guys. But check them. Like this tiny little cross, I wouldn't doubt it if it's retired and selling for a good, you know, $50. Because I don't... That's pretty. I don't remember seeing something so simple and pretty. I've seen a lot of cross rings from James Avery, and some of them are kind of big and, you know, cut out and blackened and everything. That one seemed kind of simple. So that's cool. $30 jar, right? Was it a $30 jar? No, it was $29. $20 jar because I got a discount. $20 jar. I can already double my money with just that one jewelry find there. James Avery find. This is kind of cool too. This looks like those little projects we used to do. Do you guys ever do those with the lace? Make key rings and stuff out of them? Key fobs? I do sell. I do sell James Avery, yes. Lots of it. And I'm going to be bringing some to my auction as well. Um, I know. I can't keep everything I find much as I want to. And I will keep it for a while. I will enjoy it. And um, But like my friend Jude says, swirl and twirl is what I do. Enjoy it. And then I just sell it and let someone else enjoy it for a while too. Okay, here's a tangled mess in here, guys. It's a wire bracelet. Though it's really pretty with blue tiger eye beads it's tangled up with this which i believe first i thought it was a belt but it's not it's just some chains and hoops and all of that pretty looks like that hammered stuff um what's his name john hardy does it's kind of cool i'll untangle it from that mess soon here's a leather thingy just a string a little cord. It's a pretty little pendant on there, though. I like that. May have to slide that out of there. That is really a pretty pendant. And another oversight. They did this one way too big. Expandable. This is dyed shell. But it's big. A little too big for anyone to like me to wear, anyway. Oh, this is cute. This is super cute. I love this design. This is an expandable as well. It's hearts, and it's got that verdigris color to it. It's got some copper colors. So all kinds of colors on that. That's a cute bracelet. It says love on it, too. Yeah, a little bit uh, Brighton-esque, if you might say. So that's cool. And here's another little core coiled style with a rhinestone dangle and some blue beads and I'm liking this one this looks vintage to me I love to layer this kind of stuff with some pearls and maybe some other green beads all together wouldn't that look cute this almost looks like like jade guys a lot of the costume jewelry of the 60s and this is definitely vintage they use genuine jade they used genuine amber i i think i told you guys that when i was talking to my co-worker who gave me his mother's jewelry some of his mother's jewelry that he had left he said you know it's interesting that that is even of any value yeah it's korea any value because back in in the day when my mother wore it it was considered costume jewelry even garnets were considered costume jewelry and amber and jade I, I really think this may be jade. I'm going to take a real good look at it. It is very cold beads. It is made in Korea. It's that snake cobra. It's got a nice color to it still. It was made well. So I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. And uh, we've got some pearls. Lots of pearls and crystals. I don't think we have a match to them yet. But they'll probably show up later like that those little hoops did huh oh a key and a lock that's cute let's see what this is oh my gosh that's cute 
it has kind of a pewter color. And look at that. So the toggle is interesting. I don't know why it has a hook and a toggle, but they go together. It's got a fleur de lis there, rhinestones, and I would think it would go like that, right? So I don't know why they put this there too, unless, you know, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Help me out, guys, if y'all know, but that is so cool. That's very well made, too. Very substantial. Nice and hefty weight. I love the designs on both the key and the padlock. That's cute. We got some little posts. And we got a bunch of bangles. And I think I already showed you those bangles. We got a ring. Let me see if there's anything else over here. Oh, we did have a match to this little tiny earring. I saw it earlier. Just trying to look under here. Before we sign off, now I think that's it. Let me just look at this ring and these cute bangles. These are new, and they are very heavy. I would say they're brass. They're cool. That's a very nice set of bangles, kind of bamboo design, black enamel. Then, of course, they have that gold tone to them, and these are very, very nice. They don't feel flimsy at all. They're all bunched up together. Here's a little turquoise ring. It looks like faux turquoise but let me take a closer look Let's see if i see any markings on it no it's silver tone cute also looks kind of like a brighton design or something but that looks like it guys my husband just walked in with a wonderful dinner for me so i'm gonna go have that enjoy that i hope to see you guys in a little while uh, I may go help Miss Autumn Grace if she's going to do an auction and she needs me. I don't know, but I'm going to go eat first. And I will talk to you guys very soon. I'll do another video tomorrow. Still editing another jewelry jar video, but kind of, I'm, even though I found some good stuff in there, I, my filming was like really off. I don't know what happened to the camera. So I hope you all bear with me and I hope you come back. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. 